Hi there. Tonight I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. His name is Chucky Margolis. He has a friend named Alan Audie Greco. Chucky's really strange. I mean, he lives in the basement of his house and he really never sees his mom or dad. He just sees their ankles. <laughs> He's about five or six years old. I'm not really sure because he lies a lot. Anyway, he lives in the basement of his house and he never sees his mom or dad. They just throw his food down to him. <laughs> I'm the only person in the world who can talk to Chucky. In fact, I'm going to talk to him right now and I'm going to introduce him to all of you. Chucky! Chucky! <laughs> Hi! Want to see my waterbed? Do you have a waterbed? It's not a real one. Shut up, Alan. It's not a real one. I just filled my old mattress with water. <laughs> the smoke's thought he went to bed. <laughs> I can't talk to you much longer. I've got to go to band practice. Oh, you're in the school band? Yep, I play Never Trumpet. Never Trumpet? Chucky, what's Never Trumpet? Well, Luke plays first trumpet, <laughs> Jimmy plays second trumpet, and the teacher said Chuck will never play the trumpet. <laughs> so, now I plays the drums. Yeah. But he's not supposed to. Button it, Alan. <laughs> but I was not supposed to. The real drummer got hurt. Well, how'd the drummer get hurt? Well, it was after bad practice. Yeah. And he came out and said, Hey, Margola. <laughs> he said, You can't play the trumpet. And I says to him, oh, yeah, smart drummer? Then I crushed his fingers at the door. Chucky, how is he? I'll tell you one thing, he'll never play trumpet, piano, or drumpet. <laughs> you know what I said to him? What? I said, if you ever say that to me again, I'll break your brother's hands, your sister's hands, your parents' hands, I'll even bust your dog's paws. <laughs> I'll even break Alan's hands. <laughs> hey, Jeffy, uh, where's Cindy been? <laughs> Cindy Schwartz plays trumpet. And guess what she did to Chucky? Alan. Well, what'd she do? What'd she do, Chuck? <laughs> she gave me a hickey during the national anthem. <laughs> I walked Cindy home from bad practice, but we got some trouble. Well, what kind of trouble? Simon Fritz, the football captain. Alan, one more word and I'll spread your nose over your eyes. <laughs> Simon Fritz, the football captain. <laughs> he said to me, hey, Margot. <laughs> I see you're walking with Schwartz. <laughs> Said, Shut up, Simon Fritz. Don't pick on my best friend. Well. <laughs> I said, okay, Fritz, put up your fat arms, you big meat blubber. <laughs> you know what he does to me? What? He pulled out my eyelashes and beat me in the kidneys till I couldn't see. <laughs> He took my school book and rubbed it in my orange and I saved from school. And then he lit my hat on fire. <laughs> and then what happened? Well, when I got up to put Alan's hat out, <laughs> he said, that'll teach a Margolis. Then he slipped on my orange and busted his back. <laughs> Then where did you go? We went to Cindy Schwartz's house. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap your ears around your ankles. <laughs> we went to Cindy Schwartz. <laughs> What'd you do? Mrs. Schwartz made us something to eat. Well, what'd you eat, Chuck? 
I ate 17 cheeseburgers, 145 New York steaks, 64 baked potatoes, and 85 chocolate cakes. And then he ate a bowl of artificial fruit. <laughs> Well, then what happened? I ate a bowl of artificial fruit. <laughs> what happened, Chuck? I threw it up in their aquarium. <laughs> you know it's gonna happen to you, Alan. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna come back again and see Chucky. <laughs> and you just never know what's gonna happen, so don't forget. Join us next week when we visit Chucky Margot.